video. Um, we're coming off a week one loss to the Chicago Bears, and I am not very uh, pleased with my performance. And I would say some of the defensive performance, not me. I mean, mainly me, but some of it, not me. You know. Um. I feel like there's some things I should probably change around and fix. And I think starting with Derisaw. Um I don't like the fact that he isn't starting. I don't like the fact that he's just not like I don't know, we can't draft him that high and then not use him. And he is better than what we have. So I am going to change him to a left guard. And see what happens with that. Um, he definitely deserves to be up there. Leatherwood, not so much. But I'm thinking about, you know, there's not really much I'm missing out on. Might as well make him a left guard. And might as well make him starting left guard at that. He's young, he's a rookie, we'll see if he can develop. Because, you know, a good one like an offensive lineman award thing, and then, you know, they'll just bump him up. Yeah. Like, they'll give him a better development, and then the second he has that better development, who are we to say, yo, just sit the bench? You know, like, who are we to not give him a shot? We're going to be one of the worst teams ever. We might catch one to two to one to five wins is my estimate. Um it's not going to be very good, it's not going to look very pretty. Uh yeah, there's just not much here I can do. Um I'm working or I'm looking and working towards just getting rid of some players like Upgrading certain parts of the team, just doing better, you know. Uh, moving contracts is huge right now, especially the beginning of the season. You know, can't really, can't really like have too many cap hits. Like, it's not gonna hurt you if you just trade them now compared to later when it can hurt you. Um, Deshaun Hand uh, played excellent last week, like. I couldn't have asked for better from a year three player. I had two sacks, which I might be overreacting a little bit, but two sacks that is a pretty good game. Um, Jamie Collins is also a contract I'll probably look to move. I didn't see him too much out there. I didn't, it's just. It's just not that type of player. And I think we're going to give. Akuda another chance to be one of the better receiver er, corners on the team. Uh, we're gonna go through the trade find it their trade thing and just see if anyone has any interest for any of these players. Um, it's going to be hard to move them, but again, at the end of the day, I can just be like, "Yo, just give give me." Give me a third round pick. Give me a, give me just anything. I don't want these guys as much as you don't want them. But hey, they can have some help to your team maybe. Maybe if you use them right. We're gonna shoot high for this one. Might as well. Yeah. Nope. Not gonna happen. Um. I'll take a fifth round pick for it. Honestly. Actually, we're gonna try a third, but I don't know if it's not gonna work. Might as well try. A third is almost there. So, what if I did a second next year? I mean, I'm using extra logic thinking. A second next year is too valuable, I guess. Third next year should be the final. What happened? Why was a third this year so unimportant? Can 
anyone explain to me? <laughs> Why is the next year pick way more valuable than this year's pick? I mean, I'll take a fifth, but I mean, this is not what I was hoping for. Why is the third next year so bad? Like such a big, I don't know. I am going to go in here and I am going to go to the cornerbacks and I'm going to pick up a replacement. And I think that replacement will be Pat Pete. Um, he didn't sign here real life, but what's the reason not to take Pat Pete? I mean. I mean, we do run a lot of zones, so maybe he's going to be better. I will take roads. Uh, as I said, this is not a realistic rebuild. By any means. I'm just doing what you gotta do to win. Sonny Mackey as kicker might be the move because my kicking last game, I went one for three on the uh, extra points. So, yeah. That explains that situation. Um, I think Bruning and Philip Dorsett will be in our best interest. And I also think Willie Sneed will also be in our best interest. Or D.D. Westbrook. I do like D.D. Westbrook. He's fast, he's exactly what I want in a wide receiver. And I'm going to sign him and use him as probably our fourth receiver. Antonio Brown, great player, okay? I am not going to sign him and bring him down with this hellhole of a franchise. Um, it's just not looking, not looking to ruin anyone's career. I mean, I'm looking to sign players to get me by. Nothing, nothing big, you know. Uh, how do you feel about Chen Wah signing with the Giants? I mean, I feel good about it. As I stated, I am definitely a Giants fan. Uh, if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah. I mean, I like it. I think he's a good pickup for the most part. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just, I think he was overlooked on the Bengals and he was injured a lot. So it didn't really help much, you know. I'm gonna put out Kuda at our number one. But yeah, he would hurt a lot, so like, I guess it didn't help. And I guess that's a big, like, yo, we should worry about it, but. At the same time, like, you know, give it a shot. We've got him on a cheap deal. I mean, the Giants offense is looking actually scary for the first time. But I can say that in a while. I mean, it looked scary with um, Saquon and Odell, but Odell got hurt, so I don't really count that. Saquon, Kenny Galladay, Slayton, um, fucking Shepard, like, Slayton and Shepard are good receivers, but by any means, they are not a number one receiver, which is what we tried to use them both as at one point, and it just didn't work out, which I didn't expect it to work out, but now that we have Kenny Galladay, he's a true receiver number one, and they can just fulfill their roles as what they're supposed to be. It's gonna be gross. And Kyle Rudolph signing one of the most consistent catchers in history. I hit the Giants just draft like an offensive line with that first pick. They are for sure a contender in that um conference. I don't know how far we'll go. And I'm thinking eleven and six. But in reality, I know it's gonna be nine and seven or nine and nine. And, nah, ten and seven is what I'm thinking. 
Uh, I think there's much to deny in that situation. Why is he still my kicker? I, uh, I'm gonna have to check that. I don't like that at all. You better not be my kicker because I don't. I I'm not very happy with him. I probably still have what's. I definitely do still have less. I probably just can't trust it with him and I probably screwed myself by signing him. Yeah. Huh. I don't like Fox. I don't. I. Mm -mm. Why is Bill Lutz not doing this? This is. Actually, I'm going to put. Put Matt Gay here. Actually, let me go check. Can I get canceled for saying this dude's name? Like, for real. I'm not even kidding. Like, is that possible? Lots is definitely gonna be our kicker, kicker, but Matt Gay can kick off. I mean, I signed him, so I might as well. I ain't looking for an accurate kicker. I'm just looking for something that's gonna hold it down. Mitchell, I know you don't get a lot of playtime, man, but I can lose for sure our kicker. Like, a hundred percent our kicker. Um, this is a Vikings team with a pretty good offense, and we are a Lions team with a pretty bad defense. I am not looking forward to this game. And I really do believe that this is not going to end well. Um, I know I should keep the stream up for longer, for more momentum, but after every game that I'm going to call an episode, like on YouTube, I'm going to have to, like, end it and start it again, which is, I guess, is good for me, because then I can take breaks and go get food, because I eat. I know that makes me sound like I'm fucking obese in my chair, but I promise I'm not. I promise I'm actually more of a fit person than I should seem. But I haven't eaten all day, so I am hungry. Once I get YouTube stuff figured out, I will continue the stream and just cut it up. Uh, but for now, I ain't looking to I ain't look in that direction. Oh, road. <laughs> I might just get off after this stream. Um, I do have to do life tomorrow. Um, but that's probably why there's not a lot of people in the stream right now. I mean, I know I'm not a big streamer. I never probably will be, but uh, it is a dream. So I might as well try to live up to the dream. Their defense is not very pressuring right now. And I know I probably had someone open before that, but Marshall is definitely just had my eye the whole time. I think that's a good Hawkinson throw. That's Hawkinson's first catch of the year. I did Hawk Dirty last game. I definitely did Hawk Dirty. Uh, he's one of the better players, but. It's just I'm not a tight end person. As I say that, Hawk picks up a good gain of 21. Um, I hate this. This is the worst thing. When it's like you're at the 10 yard line, but it's not first and goal. It's first and 10. It's like you know it's first and goal, but the game's just like nah, fam. Terrence Marshall with the first touchdown of the day. Is that Fox or is that Lutz? That better be Lutz. I will throw tantrum. I can't really read the name on the back of the jersey. See, yep, that's gay. Matt Gay. That's Matt Gay. I need to watch myself with this generation. 
Actually, more on, more gonna be all boys here. Who, what, what am I saying? None of us are gonna be like that. I'd say what I want. If I'm gonna be honest with you, chief. That's not sexist. That's just true. I mean, if there's a girl here, that's great. But I think we both know that's not gonna happen very often. Nothing against it. It's just. Cause don't, you just don't like play mad. There's some, but it's not a lot. And if they do play it, they're most likely not watching. They're most likely streaming it, and they're most likely getting that big box. Cause us men be like that. Wide open down the field, Justin Jefferson, with a first down. He's going to be a problem in this division for years to come if they keep him but he's at least here for two more years so we're looking to have a good time with him um uh, my game's not gonna be really high scoring because they like, are low minutes but they're low minutes because that means you can watch most of it I have a point. Uh, if anyone in the stream ever, or in the comments, ever needs someone, and I know this is random, but I've gone through it. If anyone ever needs someone, I know I don't know you, so that's exactly why I can't judge you. So you could always just drop a comment, and be like, "Oh, yo, bro, having a hard time." And, you know, I'll most likely be there. And I'm just a random man. A kid, actually. It's just. Maybe to you trying to seem, like, ungenuine. But. I'll always be here for someone. Especially if you're watching my videos. I know that's random. But. I just had to get it off my chest. But, um, yeah. They scored, and it was bound to happen. They're an amazing offensive squad, and I'm glad we held them one possession. Cause a that gives us one possession to mess up. I don't know. I shouldn't look at it like that. It should give us one possession to win the game, but. If they score and we don't, we get the ball in the second half, so I'm fine with life. I won't be mad as I was last game. Oh, that was a misclick. I meant to throw the hack into him, but I'll take it. Well, it's 5 for 5 on the day. James Robinson looking to get his first carry of the day. I'm trying to flip that. There we go. Off the middle for five yards. Should be six, but it's five. DeAndre Swift also looking to get his first carry on the day. Um, I was gonna change it up, but I should just give it to Swift first down. Question mark. Third and inches. That ball is right on the line. If you can see that, you can tell me right now that's right on the line. That should be a first down. Um, a terrible throw by me. We're going to uh, go for it on uh, fourth and inches. Probably just going to give it off. Robinson with the ball. With a good pickup of about 14. He made three people, or two people miss. Oh, misread by me. Switch with the loss of your head. I know, I don't have to be commentating this. I don't, wait, why don't I have any sound on? Oh well, whatever. 
I guess I'll figure it out. It's probably why the sound so dry to me. Philip Dorsett just recently signed for it and she picks up his first touchdown on the year. I just realized Terrence Marshall is wearing a uh eighty one and uh I don't know how I feel about that. That is a little disrespectful and on my part I will probably go ahead and change that. It's just he is like you can't wear Calvin's number. I was never a Lions fan, but he is Calvin Johnson is also on my wall. Along with uh embarrassing but what else. I was growing up a Giants fan, you know, twenty fifteen hit. How I showed I'll do that catch. And I never really had a player besides uh, Victor Cruz. I'm watching the Giants have a superstar wide receiver. I don't care. I say it to this day. He's one of the best wide receivers in this league. And uh, got him on my wall. A year later, he was traded. They said they weren't going to trade him when they did. I was very upset, but you know, it's good. It's good. Rhodes, who also just recently picked up in Bridges, he comes down with the interception. We are looking great so far in this video in this game. He threw that right into his hands. Kirk Cousins did not give a crap where that ball landed. Cephas comes down with the uh, overhead catch. He really picked it up from the first game to this game. I feel like we're playing the better team. I got that ball off. We're playing a better team and we are playing much more fire. Terrence Marshall cannot come down with the ball with 13 seconds left on the clock. Um, We would be cool with a field goal. I just gotta get in the deeper position for that. And a bad throw by me. No field goal. And give them one chance to score. Um We can't give him a second. Give him no, 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 no. We were so close to it. I'm sorry, I went quiet. I was just really trying to not let them have it, but they have a really good offense. That interception is insane. Justin, oh, oh I thought he came down with it. I was like, dang, that's a way to end the quarter. Are you? What are you dancing for? We get the ball. Whatever. All I'm doing wants to. Adnan has to return to football. As if we weren't going to. Of course we're going to. Uh, I don't figure out. I didn't see what the challenge was. Your tenth career touchdown, D.D. Westbrook. Um. All right. We'll try. I ain't gonna push target you like I do other people, but. That is why. We're targeting like Cephas. Cephas is on an insane player in this game. And if you don't believe me, you don't have to, but you should because I've done a Lions rebuild earlier in the year. And he was a low overall. He's like a 68. And my god, that man comes down with every throw. I mean, I threw him. I threw him the ball and it's just it's just automatically caught like I remember one time I was playing and uh, I threw it and there was four seconds left on the clock I was down three because I just this kid just drove around and scored a field goal and I was an online franchise and I was like oh it has to be over Cephas jumps up catches the ball and then proceeds to break the tackle and he scored I was so happy I beat my friend. It was one of the best moments of my life, honestly. Just watching Cephas. I mean, 
obviously had better moments, but it was so funny because my friend was like, "Who even is that?" And I was like, "That's Cephas. What do you mean, bro?" DeAndre Swift with a tutty. Um, no, not much I can do. It's a 50 yard touchdown. It's not like I'm gonna miss up on a 50 yard touchdown to make him happy. I am going for a little bit of a trickery here. This could come back to bite us in the butt, but it does. <laughs> it will. I know it will. I'm gonna mess up somehow. All I have to do is play some good conservative football and we win this game. And some good defense. They will not take the ball back. They are not looking to get hit today. Um, for sure, sack for Akara. I'm gonna take Okuda and I'm gonna use him. I really want Okuda to have an interception. I think Okuda can be good. He obviously can be right now. You know. And I'm thinking about putting him at my sub linebacker or safety position because I just think we could benefit so much from him being there. Like there's a ton of okay cornerbacks that we can just live with, you know. But free safeties aren't as common, and you, him with superstar development. We could get him to be a good zone player. We play a lot of zone. So, like, he's gonna have to be a good zone player no matter. Oh, Dalvin Cook. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, I messed up. See, I told you, you guys aren't here for some good content. Or some good gameplay. You're here for the. You're here for whatever I am. God. I can make it interesting. That's about it. And he drills it down the middle. Down six for him. Um. Yeah, I just got the stream pulled up next to me, like the stream manager, so I can like see chats and stuff if anyone said something. Um. I uh, I think you guys can see that. And I'm sorry. That's just me. If I refresh it on my thing, cause it froze on mine. I don't think it. Fro it definitely didn't froze for you guys. But it froze on mine, and it says there's another person coming into the stream when I do that. So that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, I'll take the numbers, you know. <laughs> but it's not true, and I don't like that. Okay, as I was just saying all this good stuff about Cephas, that happens. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I was meaning to stream, like, a couple, couple weeks ago, and I was going to do it, and then my mic broke, so I couldn't do it, and I was very upset. But I didn't know what I was going to do at that time. I didn't know if I was going to do it on Xbox. I didn't know if I was going to stream 2K or play Fortnite still. Fuck, that was all me. But I've decided that I'm definitely going to do a mix of games. I'm going to be all over the place. But uh, I really thought a uh, Madden franchise would be something I want to do. And it's, I'm having fun with it. I mean, normally when I play, I talk like I'm talking to other people. So I mean, it just works for me. And you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not very good at school. But um, you know, if this worked, I wouldn't have to be good at school. And it, it's kind of upsetting to not be good at school, but. Well, uh, it happens. It's not. It's not for me. I feel like playing video games is for me. 
I feel like that can be interesting. Sometimes, you know. I know I'm not always gonna be fun. I'm not. I can I can put together some content. I know there's some random things people wanna see and one of my favorite YouTubers is not the expert. Uh if you don't know who that is, I recommend you look him up. Um He really just does a lot of things. And I love it because it's just something I've always like he always plays games that I specifically love and I'm like why aren't there enough people why aren't there other people actually sh like playing this game and watching it and like sh streaming it and uploading videos about it and he does like there's no one that really plays NCAA football 14 anymore because I guess I don't know I don't know why honestly but he does and you know that's a that's a great thing in my book. That's amazing. Like that game, oh, just the way he does it and the way he like makes like the football team a dynasty is just amazing to me. And it's kind of like me, you know, not really good at the game, but I just one or two things people want to see. I don't know franchise is getting old and stale, and there's already a bunch of people that play it. What was that? <sighs> I thought I was gone. Anywho, there's already a bunch of people that do it. And only a few come out successful. But, I feel like I'm going to have a variety enough to do this if I want to. Um, another game I'm thinking about is Warzone, but I am terrible at that game. I don't think I could ever do it. I don't think I'm good enough for it. It's just a lot. And in another game, which I should have hopped on it when I was had the hype, but Minecraft. You know, can't go wrong with good old craft. I don't know a single person who's like, oh, Minecraft is terrible. Like, because they'd be lying. It's not. It's one of the best games of all time. Um, it froze on my thing again, so I have to refresh. So if it says I got another view, that's why. Which kind of sucks because I wish it was someone real. But Lance looking to scramble picks up about five yards. Only got six on that, but you know we good, we good. Uh, is that Westbrook? No, it's Turner. Alright, um. Oh. I am now in a very tough situation. Um. You know what? Basically a short little punt. Two interceptions for Harrison Smith on the day. My bad. I mean, they aren't really him, but... Like... He's not that good. Oh, fuck. Dalvin Cook. My worst enemy for this... Like, team. Um, sorry, I was just checking my phone to make sure there wasn't anything that significantly happened. Um, is there another game you guys want me to stream? Like, if you watch YouTube, if you watch my YouTube videos or another game you want me to play, I am looking to get things so I can just record the videos and then what the audio. I'm looking to get like a whole setup. First, I gotta work for it, you know. Can't, nothing's gonna get handed to me. But it is my birthday soon, so I think it is an option. It's an option. With a clutch interception. Oh my god, I wish I could say his name. That was fucking insane. Let's go. That right there looks like the game. 
I wish that was Okuda. I do. But, you know, can't, can't, can't complain, can't complain. Oh, looking for Bryant on the out route, but cannot connect. I think my best bet here is going to go James Robinson. Um, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. I don't like what's going on. Philip Dorsett. There we go. Our new pickup and free agency. And he's clutching the game up as we speak. Um, this is going to be our first one on the season. We are going to improve the one on one and one. I don't know how I feel about winning a lot of games. I don't know how I feel about winning games in general. I might tank it out at one point. But right now, there's just so much on the line. I'm not going to purposely lose a game right now. Cephas comes down with the ball, goes out of bounds, but the clock is still rolling. And we have time on our side. I'm going to give Robinson one last run for his uh, stats. And it's going to be a good one. Picks up a couple of yards. And clock is up. And game is, well, on its way to being over. Er, it is over. Um, my my own stupid final score, 20 to 14. Not a high scoring game, but we balled it out. We balled it out. Uh, if you want me to up the minutes on it, I will for sure. But um, yeah. Like for, for now, I just want to leave it at what I did. They killed us from rushing yards. He is insane. I'm gonna go over the stats. Gonna enter it, and we'll be back. But a uh, 40 minute stream. I mean, not gonna be mad at that. Um, Trey Lance threw 14 for 22. He had 295 yards, almost 300. He threw three touchdowns, two interceptions, which isn't the best, but he's a rookie. He has four interceptions on the year, five touchdowns on the year. He 13.4 yards per attempt, and but I'm not. I couldn't ask much better. Um. James Robinson with six carries for 45 yards, Swift for two for four four yards, and Lance for one for five. Ah, uh, his longest carry was 14. Good, good from James Robinson on the day. Terrence Marshall five yards and 90 or er, five catches 90 yards uh, with a one touchdown. Um, probably going to be a number one target for the rest of the year. Uh, Hawkinson with three for 55. Good game from Hawk this week. Seafish for 3 for 48. Um, he only has one drop pass. Can't really, can't really ask for much better. Same thing from Marshall, by the way. Philip Dorsett, 2 for 52. Swift, 1 for 50. Which was a touchdown, so honestly, Swift played great this week. And Westwick got targeted once, but he did not come down with it. And Bryant, you know, Bryant. <laughs> um, we only have one set this week, Crispy's. Uh, that's that. Um, Amani with three tackles, Okudo with two. Anything significant here? No, not really. Uh, Mustard had five assists. So we had five tackles. Oh, we had five tackles. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okudo with six tackles. Um. Harris was six, Amani was, Amani was five, Moses with five, Peace with three, Xavier Rhodes with three. Yeah, that's about it. And one interception for Amani. Oh, and Rhodes. Forgot about Rhodes' interception. Um. Uh, yeah, there's just not much we can ask for. Uh. Honestly, two for two this week. Um, much better, much better.
I'm not gonna look at punting because we didn't punt and we have 25 yards for return. Yeah, I know I killed that, made it way longer than it should have been. I'm just an idiot and don't know how to speak properly. But uh, yeah, that's the end of episode two. Thank you for watching.